வெல்கம் டு அவர் சேனல் ஈஸி லேர்ன் ஃபன்னி லேர்ன் ப்ளீஸ் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் த சேனல் அண்ட் ப்ரெஸ் த பெல் ஐக்கான் டு ரிசீவ் நோட்டிஃபிகேஷன்ஸ் ஹாய் மை டியர் கிட்ஸ் In this video, we are going to see Memory and Storage Devices from National Cyber Olympiad NCO MTG Workbook. First question. A storage device can be dash. Option A. A built-in device that holds information. B. Volatile as well as non-volatile. C. An external hardware device used by the computer to store data. D. All of these. So, a storage device can be built-in device or external hardware device, volatile as well as non-volatile. So, option D, all of these, option D, all of these is the correct answer. Second one, a CDR is also known as dash, A, WORM, B, WORO, C, WMRO, D, ROWM. So, WORM means write once, read many. Okay. Option A, write once, read many. Option B, write once, read once. Option C, write many, read once. Option D, read once, write many. So, in computer storage media, write once, read many is a data storage technology. that allows information to be written to a disk a single time and read many time it prevents the drive from erasing the data so a cd or cdr means cd read is also known as worm option a is the correct answer option a third one a secondary storage device can dash a hold data until it is deleted b store large amount of data c b external or internal d all of these so a secondary storage device can hold large amount of data until it is deleted it can be either internal or external so option d all of this is the correct answer option d all of these fourth one Which of these is not a secondary storage medium on a computer? Option A, CD, B, pen drive, C, external hard disk, D, RAM. So, we know RAM is not a secondary storage medium on a computer, okay? Option D is the correct answer. RAM is a primary memory of a computer. So, option D is the correct answer. Fifth one. Complete the given diagram by replacing the P, Q, R and S with appropriate options. So, please check the diagram. Memory, it is classified into two types. Primary memory and secondary memory. Primary memory are RAM and ROM. So, P is RAM, Q is ROM. Secondary memory is again classified into ROM. Magnetic memory and optical memory. So, example for magnetic memory is hard disk. Example for optical memory is CD and DVD. So, P, RAM, Q, ROM, R, magnetic memory, S, optical memory. So, option A is the correct answer. Option A. Sixth one. I have a document file of 450 MP. I am trying to copy it in CD or W that is read write. Every time it gives an error message indicating it is unable to copy the file due to some specific reason. What might be the reason? Option A. A CD or W cannot hold 450 MP of data. B. A CD or W cannot store documents. C. The CD or W might be having insufficient space. D. A CD read write cannot store text data. So, the correct option is option C. Okay, it gives an error message indicating it is unable to copy the file due to insufficient space. Okay, 
due to insufficient space. So option C is the correct answer. Option C. Seventh one. Match the following column one with column two. So A USB flash drive. So A two A two B hard disk drive. So B three B three. Next C is optical disk drive. So C one. So A two B three C one. Option A is the correct answer. Option A. Eight. Arrange the following units of memory in increasing order of their sizes: byte, terabyte, megabyte, gigabyte, and bit. So bit is the smallest unit of memory, and terabyte is the largest unit of memory. So bit, then byte, then megabyte, gigabyte, and terabyte. So option D is the correct answer. Option D. Ninth, SATA and PATA are interfaces to connect dash A CD drive, B hard disk drive, C floppy drive, D both A and B. So SATA means Serial Advanced Technology Attachment, PATA means Parallel Advanced Technology Attachment. So these are both type of hard drive connection. So option D both A and B. These are interfaces to connect both A and B. Option D is the correct answer. Tenth one, BIOS of a computer is stored in dash A RAM, B ROM, C magnetic tape, D hard disk. So BIOS of the computer is stored in ROM, read only memory. Okay, ROM. Option B is the correct answer. Option B. Eleventh one. What is the difference between volatile and non-volatile memory? Option A: Volatile is permanent memory, and non-volatile is temporary memory. B: Volatile loses its con contents when there is no electricity, while non-volatile retains its contents with or without electricity. C: Volatile retains its content with or without electricity. While non-volatile loses its content when there is no electricity, D none of these. So the correct difference between volatile and non-volatile memory are volatile loses its content when there is no electricity. Okay, it loses its content when there is no electricity. Example for volatile memory is RAM. Okay, so. Non-volatile memory retain its content with or without electricity. Example for non-volatile memories are hard disk, CD, flash drive, etc. So option B is the correct answer. Option B. Twelfth. Which of the following is true? A. Four nibbles is equal to one byte. False. B. Four bytes is equal to one bit. False. See four bits is equal to one nibble. It is true. Okay, four bit is equal to one nibble. Eight bit is equal to one byte. Or two nibble is equal to one byte. D four nibble is equal to one bit. It is also false. So option C is true. Option C. Thirteenth, I am having a large video, around eight GB size. Which I want to copy from my laptop to my desktop. Which of the following storage medium is best suited for transferring the video to the desktop computer? A. 8 MP pen drive. B. 5.25 inch floppy disk. C. 64 GB pen drive. D. SSD ROM which has only around 10% space available. So option C is the correct answer. We need. Sixty-four GB pen drive. Option C is the correct answer. Fourteenth, two power ten into two power ten into two power ten kilobytes is equal to dash. Option A one jettabyte, B one megabyte, C one gigabyte, D one terabyte. So the correct option is option D one terabyte. Okay, option D is the correct answer. Fifteenth. Which of the following memories must be refreshed many times per second? A. Static RAM. 
B. Dynamic RAM C. EE PROM D. Flash memory So dynamic RAM is a type of memory that is typically used for data or program code that a computer processor needs to function. So dynamic RAM is a common type of RAM used in personal computers, workstation and servers. It needs to be refreshed periodically. So option B is the correct answer. Option B. Next achiever section. 16th. Which of the following hold the correct difference between RAM and ROM? So we know RAM and ROM are primary memory. So RAM is a volatile memory and ROM is a non-volatile memory. So option A, RAM, it is a volatile memory. ROM, it is a non-volatile memory. Correct option B. Two types of RAM are static RAM and dynamic RAM. The types of ROM are PROM, EPROM and EEPROM. Correct option C. It allows the computer to read the data quickly to run application. It allows reading and writing. ROM. It stores the program required to initially boot the computer. It only allows reading. Correct option. So A, B, C. All the options are correct option. So option D. All of these. Option D. All of this is the correct answer. Next, 17th. Arrange the following units of memory from smallest to largest. 1 nibble, 1024 GB, 1 byte, 1024 terabyte, 1 bit, 1024 petabyte. So, we know group of 4 bit is 1 nibble and 2 nibble is equal to 1 byte. So, 1 bit, next 1 nibble, Next, 1 bit, 1024 gigabyte, then 1024 terabyte and 1024 petabyte, okay. Option C is the correct answer. Option C. 18th, there are two categories of memory. One, sequential memory, in which you can access data in a sequential order, not in a random manner. Two, non-sequential memory in which you can access data in any random order. Now match the following categories of memory with their examples. Column 1 and column 2, sequential memory. So cassette is an example for sequential memory. So A, 2. Next RAM, hard disk, uh, external hard disk are all examples for non-sequential memory. So B, 1, 3 and 4. So, A, 2, B, 1, 3 and 4. So, option A is the correct answer. Option A. 19th. Which of the following statement hold true regarding EEPROM? Statement 1. It can be reprogrammed and erased by applying special programming signals. Correct statement. Statement 2. It is a type of non-volatile memory. True statement. So option A only statement 1. B only statement 2. C both statement 1 and statement 2. D neither statement 1 nor statement 2. So statement 1 and 2 are true. Okay regarding EE Pro. So option C is the correct answer. Option C. 20. Last question. Identify the following. It is a type of mass storage device that permanently stores data. It has no moving mechanical components and it is typically more resistant to physical shock. Option A. Hard disk drive. B. Solid state drive. C. Magnetic tape drive. D. All of these. So, a solid state drive that is SSD is a non-volatile storage device that stores persistent data on solid state flash memory. So, option B is the correct answer. Option B. Thank you my dear kids for watching this video. If you like this video, 
Please like and subscribe. Thank you.